How's it going, everybody? Bert Ryan here, and today I'm coming at you with a beer review. It's been a while since I did one of these, but now that I've got the whole new setup with the lights and all that, I figured it was time that I come back and do some more of these. And uh, I'm really happy to be sharing this company with you today. It actually comes out of Jacksonville, Florida, which is where I was born and raised. Uh, well, partially raised, so we moved out to Keystone Heights to get out of the uh, city life. But um, this, uh, the brewery that I'm looking at today is called Bold City Brewery. It was started by Brian and Susan Miller. No relation at all to the Millers whatsoever, although uh, they would be more than happy to have some of that money. Uh, but uh, it is a family-run, uh, owned and operated locally in Jacksonville, family-run business. And uh, Brian started home brewing back in 2002. Uh, after that, uh, you know, he was um, he became a member of Cask, which is the uh, local Jacksonville Brewing Club, home brewing club, uh, and he did all that before he decided to open up his own business. Uh, again, in whatever we do, whatever industry it is, to me, I just really love being able to share stories and share products from companies that are small, up and coming entrepreneurs. It's what this great country in America was all about: is the ability to seek after your dreams. And uh, so that's just what they did. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of their Indian Pale Ales. I'm personally a big, huge fan of the uh, Pale Ales. And uh, along there with uh, the Metal Madman, if you haven't seen any of his video reviews or his beer chugs, uh, I'll be sure to have a link down in the description so you can check out some of his uh, epic slams. Believe me, chugging and slamming um, these craft beers is not an easy thing to do at all. But uh, <clears throat> I want to show you real quick, a lot of the new uh, craft beer companies and stuff are starting to use... Uh, these six top holders, I think they're really awesome. They're way better than those cheap little plastic bands that the big giant distributors use. And the reason why I like them is once you pop out your beer, you can reuse this. So if you're going to the beach or you're going to like float down the river or something, you've got a bunch of friends that all have different tastes. Uh, you can pick up several different kinds of 12 packs and break them down into, you know, mixed six packs here. So this is neat to be able to reuse, take with you to the beach. Uh, it's not something that you just end up uh, throwing away for the most part. So that's cool. Reusable. Uh, let's see. We're going to look at this. It is a 7% alcohol per volume, so it's got a good alcohol content. Um, I will uh, show you pictures on this so you can see the side that I'm looking at here. Uh, very cool. I like that it's got the uh, RAD logo here. Um, and let's see, about the uh, Mad Manatee Indian Pale Ale, it's a wonderful balance of hops and malt. This IPA is loaded with four hop varieties. You can expect a slight sweetness with toasted notes, a wonderful floral aroma, and crisp citrus finish. It's as bitter as a Mad Manatee, so very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and crack this open and give it a pour and get to the tasting and see what we've got. Again, you tilt your glass to the side a little bit, it helps keep you from getting all head, but all good beers should have a little bit of head. And what I really love about these beers, I just love seeing all the bubbles <clears throat> shoot through the beer. All right, it is a good, uh, very, very dark uh, yellow beer. Uh, it's a typical pale ale. Uh, you can't see through it, non-translucent, uh, unlike your watered down, uh, cheap American beers like, you know, Bud Light, Miller, and stuff like that. <clears throat> Looks great. You definitely can smell the hops coming through. I'm a huge, like I said, big IPA fan. There's always lots of hops in the IPAs. Mm. Well, that's a really, really tasty beer. Um, I really, I can't, I guess, describe it any better than them. Um, you do get that toasted, uh, a slight toasted note that comes through. Uh, strong, uh, actually, I, I guess I can't say it's strong hoppy. It's actually, um, it's on a more mild side as far as the hops go. Uh, a lot of people, when it comes to pale ales, you either love it or hate it. Ever since the first one I've had, I've loved it. <clears throat> I've been to Colorado a few times and had some amazing beers uh, over there. But uh, Jacksonville, my hometown, is actually another big city that uh, is really jumping on with the craft beer thing. There's a lot of uh, cities that are doing it. Here in Gainesville, Florida, we're a college town, so there's a lot of home brewing going on. And we have a couple great breweries here, one of which I'm going to go and uh, interview the brewmaster uh, and talk about some of his beers very, very soon. Um, but uh, again, this is just a, a great tasting IPA if you're a fan of it definitely check them out especially if you live in the area or if your distributors have them somewhere where you live pick up some of this because man mm.
It's really, really good, smooth. Uh, the one thing that I would like just is maybe a touch more of the hops in there. But uh, so for that, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 on flavor because it's really, really good beer. I'm a big fan, again, of IPA. So be sure to check out some. And um, again, I'm going to be trying to do some more of these uh, beer reviews because I've been a chef all my life. And honestly, when it comes to making a good meal, one of the most important things, especially if you're trying to impress a lady, uh, is to have the right drink paired with it. For instance, there's a lot of great porters and stouts, uh, like you know, dark chocolate and oatmeal stouts, coffee stouts, all those that go really great with certain dessert items. Uh, you know, just same thing, you would pair wines with different kinds of Italian dishes, for instance, or with fish dishes or chicken. It's all about, uh, it's all in the culinary realm anyway. So I'm looking forward to exploring this some more, trying some more beers. I'll probably uh, maybe make a couple of mixed concoctions here and there. But uh, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, stay toasty, my friends. <laughs>